What's up guys, I'm Andrew Chris and I'm back in another video. Today I want to talk about the smartphones, the upcoming smartphones that are coming out for early 2015. Smartphones come in different screen sizes and forms, shapes, other things like that. But anyways, I want to talk about the upcoming smartphones that are coming out. Samsung Galaxy S6, HTC One M9, all that. But anyways, let's get to it. First off, I have the Samsung Galaxy S6 from Samsung, which was actually announced today at WCS. It's supposed to come in two different forms, one with the edge, which is a curved shape, and then another with the regular S6, which is just flat. To me, I think Samsung kind of took the idea of releasing two different smartphones from Apple, which is good for competition. This 5.1 screen size smartphone is pretty surprising with its camera, coming with 16 megapixel camera, which is very new for Samsung. It will also come with Android Lollipop, of course with Samsung's TouchWiz launcher, which isn't very surprising. This phone will also stay up to speed with newer smartphones of Samsung's Exonos chipset. For hardware, it's pretty new with internal battery, so you can remove the battery, which is pretty different from Samsung. The phone would also come with a fingerprint scanner, again, something Apple iPhones are known for, but hey, what can you say, Samsung and Apple are big two rivals. Next off of the HTC One M9, yes the M9, which looks like a mixture of the M7 and M8. It has the same round of feel as the last two smartphones, except it being slippery has the grip that I saw watching in a video. I can't really say anything else is new except it of course having Android Lollipop in its 20.7 megapixel camera which is just amazing. It seems like HTC is putting a lot of its time in its camera and screen size which is 5 inches which is just 0.1 smaller from the Samsung Galaxy S6 but you wouldn't really tell the difference. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 for its chipset and the phone will feel the same as the M7 and M8 so you will be used to it. The LG G Flex 2 is an amazing phone. It has a 1080p curved OLED 5.5 screen. This phone is basically like the LG G3, but bendable and has self healing that will heal in seconds if scratched on the back. The phone also has a 13 megapixel camera, which is pretty cool, especially since it can shoot up to 4K video. It will also release with Android 5.0.1, Android Lollipop, with a chipset of Qualcomm Snapdragon 810. The LG G Flex 2 also reminds me of the LG Curve TV since they are now bendable, which was also introduced in CES 2015, and have a nice display though the phone isn't 4K. The LG G Flex 2 currently earned my top spot for early 2015 technology. With this amazing bendable screen and self-healing on the back, it shows me that LG is not only thinking about today's technology, but is also thinking about the future of technology. Now I can't really say anything else about the iPhone 6S, the Moto X, or the Moto G 3rd generation or other flagship phones like that, but I do know they will be coming out and they haven't been announced yet which is why I haven't included them in my video, but hopefully they will be coming out soon and hopefully I do get my hands on the LG G Flex 2 and probably, hopefully, the HTC One M9 so I can do reviews on them, but anyways, I'm Andrew Chris and I'll be back with another video. Salute.